Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be a <coughs> very interesting topic that I have found some weeks ago. It's about uh, how you can uh, transpile a Python script and uh, create from the source code, let's say a uh, Java virtual machine compatible byte code. <coughs> and uh, this uh, gives uh, people lots of lots of bright ideas and um, for example if you have a, a web interface where you are able to write this uh, Python code then in the backend what you could do is uh, transpile this uh, Python code into a Java virtual machine compatible byte code run the uh, bytecode and uh, give the output back to the user and uh, this uh, is a, a very interesting project and uh, I thought I would show you how you can uh, get started with this so what we are going to need is some prerequisites so there is this virtual ems folder for me and uh, I will create the VOC project. This is called VOC, but not with the MakeDur, but I will create a virtual environment for the Python. And uh, <coughs> there are two things that need to be downloaded everything and with the URLs will be in the description of this video. So basically, after it was uh, created, you navigate here and you say scripts activate. Here we are in the virtual environment of our project and if we check with pip, we see that there is no extra module installed and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, download, I have already actually downloaded this Walkmaster from the GitHub and uh, I will extract it. I will extract it. It's still working. Cool. So I I will have to restart this recording. So <coughs> here we have this walk master, and I'm going to go for the virtual the walk project. Copy here the files, and let's go inside this directory. And what I can do here, if I want to install manually, is pip install dot. And this is going to <coughs> be almost the same as if I pull this from the Python package index. So if I now say pip freeze, I can see that I have this walk one dot file uh, oh dot one dot file installed. So Let's navigate back to the root, and the next thing I'm going to need is the Apache Ant. This is uh, needed because there is a Python support Java VR file which uh, is necessary to run these uh, files which were transpired from Python to Java uh, for the Java compatible virtual machine. So yeah, after this is done, uh, I have also installed the Java's version 1.80171. This is the SE runtime, and uh, Java C is also the same version. Uh, the Java C needs to be uh, in the Java home variable. So Java home. It is not recognized because currently this variable is not set. 
So what I'm going to need to do is check where this Java is installed. So program files Java, we need the GDK and the Java C and uh, set the Java home to this cool. Now that I have this Apache and extracted, <coughs> I'm going to copy it here and what needs to be done needs to be done. So I navigate here in the Apache end, again in the Apache end and then the binary folder and I issue this command end java and this is not running because the build.xaml file which it complains not finding is located somewhere else namely it's located in the VOC master in the VOC master and here is the xaml file that is needed so what I'm going to do is point back Java. <coughs> Now it is compiling. So after this was done successful, we can see that under the VOC master we will find these jar files which were just generated. And what we need is this Python Java support. And let's create a new folder which is the actual project and jar jar here <coughs> and navigate back of this VOC actual project and let's try to run this Python script. First I will create this simple hello.py so <coughs> hello world from the VOC project I can do for loops for i in range, uh, let's say 10 print i. Let's save it and just try to run it so we can see if there are any errors here. This is fine and we should VOC dash v simple hello.py and what it did it created this python folder and under here we have this bytecode this is the class extension and now all that needs to be done is specified class part which is the jjar Python Java support and Python sim 
Tecla. Hello. And it is not loading because it Sima hello. Oh. I could not find. And there we go. So if I didn't make this typo, it is working. So this is uh, how you can get started with this project. I think it's uh, very cool and uh, it, uh, it's worth experimenting with it. For example, if you have a JVM application server, you could uh, create a proof of concept with the Python uh, script, convert it with the VOC project to Java bytecode, give it to the application server and give it a test drive. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If uh, you want more content like this, subscribe for more and thank you for watching.